Welcome back, everybody. This is Grace, or Gibby, whatever you prefer. And today, the update dropped. New Devourer updates. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, that is going to be this quest here. Oh, you know what? The whole page is updated. Um, Battle for the Salvation Weapons. So the day before, uh, this was still in the old format, like the yellow quests format, but now it's in the red and white, which is very nice. But funny enough, we're actually not going to be starting there. We're actually going to be starting, I think, in an unusual spot. But it's going to be the Warp Force crossover. All right. And I think Warp Wars. Is this going to load? Yeah, OK. Skip cutscene. And I think. Guardian access granted. We can pick the salvation weapons here. So I'm going to pick the bow because I'm on a ranger build. Well, ignore that I have it trained. All my items are for rangers. Um, but I'm mainly just interested. Interested to see um, whether or not the salvation weapon no drops were updated. Now the salvation weapon no drops in the devourer saga weren't updated. And it seems as though these weren't either. That certainly looks like the old version, um, which is interesting. Could be interesting. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, but I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my stats. I'm going to keep this no drop just for funsies. See what happens. Um, but I'm going to swap my stats over to the ranger build. And then I'm going to check one more spot. Actually, I'll just check that now before I swap stats since the stats don't matter. We're actually going to go to Darren and see about the Devour Saga items shop. So this lets you access Devour Saga items. And I suspect... we may be able to look at the Salvation items. So this certainly still looks like the old art. In fact, I think it is the old art. Okay. Um, Wax and Wing, is that new? No, I don't think so. Salvation Blade, level 35. Okay, still the old art. So it seems like they didn't delete the old items, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so just if you want to buy the old items, you still can, at least for the moment. Now I'm going to swap my stats. Pause, please. All right, I went with a random um, end and luck mix. Don't really mind too much, but let's actually do the quests. I'm quite excited. Um, I happen to do some, I use the monster database spreadsheet, and I happen to notice Oh, you know what? Okay, so I just did the quest the other day, and before you had to click on the dialog boxes, but now they're updated. Um, think Adder. Okay, so the capital, the funny capitalizations are still there. So I don't think they actually changed much of anything. And we still have this beautiful Adder animation. Looks like he's stoned as hell. Yeah, okay, so pretty sure they didn't change that. The dialogue, yep, this is still the same. This is still the same. To battle, oh, I wonder if they updated the guests. So last I checked, the Ulger wasn't, or Huntress wasn't updated. So actually, we'll just be able to compare. We'll see what happens with the Huntress here, because I, I have a video of using her yesterday, so. Um, but yeah, should be a pretty chill quest. They definitely changed the, um, the monster pool. Don't think you could fight a green knight before. Uh, where's my Earth Shield? Devoured Vengeance. There we go. And, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is definitely a 150 weapon. The Huntress. Oh, did she drain my SP correctly? Hold on. Yeah, okay, so she drains my SP. And she drained 152. She might be overcharged, you know what? Not really an efficient use of my SP, but I'm going to keep her because I wonder if she has a trigger against the boss, and that could be kind of interesting. Um, speaking of, I tried not to be spoiled too much, um, but I did happen to see that the boss has a challenge mode and a normal mode, so that's pretty exciting. 
Uh, but I'm I'm so far so good. I'm looking forward to this. They updated a guest, gave her ferocious strikes. She has a two hit now. Uh, is, is she auto hit like the monster? Guaranteed hit. No, that's my weapon. Okay, so she's not auto hit like the uh, monster is, but that's fine. That would be pretty odd to have a temporary auto hit guest. You can't access other places unless we get a call Celestria guest. That could be cool. Let me put on my. Um, I don't need the luck drive, but we'll do the dark brand. I won't do the bleed again. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the bleed on Neko. Uh, sometimes I'm not a huge fan of the bleed on Neko. But, but um, you know, that's what it is. Pretty good. Pretty chill questing. So I'm looking forward to the weapons because there should be. So before the update, they were multiple elements. They were like. I think every element just scaling by level. You know how like old items used to do that. Um, after the update, I expect they'll all be light weapons. I don't actually know, but I did. I see. I saw a small spoiler. Um, I saw. Actually, you know what? Dark is still pretty good here, so I'll keep my um, claw arm going. I saw a small spoiler that their weapons do burn or something. And that they're light and i think that makes sense because the weapons of salvation probably should be light um toggle my guest my pet by accident put him back on the, the sp heal mode this so let me just go through my gear um vampoglin lord dark pet from i think 2014 frostville um and he trades like half his damage or so to heal sp based off the damage dealt so he works well with elivon um for example yeah, so I get 160 SP back. I'm fully sustaining my guest right now. I'm still paying SP for the Misk and the Toggle in Neko, but not a big deal. And of course, he doesn't hit that high. Excuse me. <clears throat> he doesn't hit that high every time. But, you know, I, I quite like this pet. I think he's a very good dark pet option. There are some good dark pets. Quite a few, honestly, in my opinion. But I like this one. I think it's nice. And I'm not running anything too special, but the Huntress Guest, she seems to be an overcharged of some variety Wind Guest. I don't know if she was updated recently. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, 152 SP. How much is a normal Guest? Well, I can't check, because if I unsummon her, I can't get her again. But I think it's like 118 or something like that. It's exactly 30% melee, which I can derive by doing 0 0.3 times 392. I'd love to do in my head to flex, but yeah, it's 118 uh, SP, so I didn't remember that correctly. But, so, what's 150 to 154? Is that what it is? This is also the same as yesterday. Go into the cave, you fight more monsters. Um, yeah, 152 SP. So let's figure out what ratio. Uh, Dark is a bit weak here, so let's use Flame Puncher Rifle. I didn't put the scope on. I want to put the scope on. Can't click the scope. Yeah, the vampire when Lord is hiding the. Um... There we go. And ranger scope, awesome. And this is a. I think this guy's an earth water monster. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We could also be using wind, but I. I just can't be bothered to. Uh, change up my setup too much. Actually, you know what? I will use Wind because I like the Sphinx pet for the uh, random stun lock potential on normal monsters. Not that it really matters because we're just hanging out, killing guys, but. But uh, Flame Puncher Rifle, that new Fire 100 proc that I really uh, like. I'm a big fan of. I think I had. I think I made a YouTube video about it. I'm not sure if I actually released it. Might be in my saved videos, but. Um, I'm a big fan of this weapon. It's not quite a Blood Blade. But it's it's uh, debatably better than a blood blade when you take into account range ramping, um, and the fact that you don't actually pay HP, you pay MRM, which if you're already paying MRM, doesn't count. Well, it I shouldn't say that. Sometimes, depending on the situation, um, sometimes depending on the situation, uh, it's better than paying in raw HP. So this is the sect. This is one of a few monsters they updated for this quest. So to my knowledge, they updated the sected and the behemoth monster. 
they seemed to change up the affected resistances they used to have like high fire res if i'm not mistaken um and now it has a flat 30 damage reduction so shouldn't be a significant monster or anything shouldn't be like difficult but um interesting let's see if the huntress is still costing 152 oh you know what i never did 152 over 118 uh why is the calculator not calculating 152 divided by 118 this is just to figure out the ratio 1.28 okay i don't know beats me uh let's do 152 divided by 392 so 38.7 melee uh beats me dog i'll be honest i've got no clue what what that is uh, supposed to be, but maybe a 10% down trigger minus S minus MC or something. I don't know. Uh, but either way, so she pays more SP. I don't know if she does more damage, but um, interesting, quite interesting. Oh, you know what? 40 wizard undress, and that did zero. Oh, because of the damage reduction, right? Um, well, I, I love to see some different monsters and some mildly interesting basic quest monsters. Um, so now we gotta switch to dark, which is gonna be this this puppy. Yeah, we can stay on um, energy chibi loco, cause why not? Okay. Um. I like to see I like to see some quest monsters with a little bit of fluff to them, a little bit of spice. Damage reduction, not setting a high bar for spice, but you know, it's something. I like that. Uh, I also like that they this quest was not one that had like a super long amount of monsters. I like that they kept that the same. Well, I haven't gotten to the end yet, so <laughs> who knows for sure, but so because I think the boss may be coming up, or the demi-boss may be coming up, the Malzar fight specifically, um, I, I will start restoring my SP. So that I go in with a full uh, SP bar. Skip monster, undead frog. Uh-oh. Someone didn't pay attention to the... Uh, Pay attention to the release. So we're gonna go full wind setup here. Back to Tiger Luna Neko. Back to my Earth Shield, and I think should be good to go here. Got the Hollow Remote. Set it to wind. Uh, hollow Remotes are very simplistic, but I, I actually I'm quite a fan of the weapon design. I like them. Also, this this uh, Sphinx pet definitely really good for basic monster use. Um, so you get like a 30 plus stun chance depending on wind res. I think it's I think it's base 30 and then you add three per ten or subtract three per ten. Um, you could there's it's a multiplicative thing, but to be honest, I just can't remember um, how to do it. I think it's just times wind res. Actually, I'm just being dumb. Like 30 times wind res. Uh, so not anything significant, but I'm I'm really just yapping to get through the end of the quest. I might find that this is like unlistenable, um, and just edit this whole thing out. That would be embarrassing. But but anyways, so I'm very curious about this huntress guest. I would love to know if she was reworked recently. Um, cause I I just don't remember she did this yesterday. You know, I don't think she did. I also don't know how long I was equipping her yesterday, so I don't know if I can be sure. Uh, but one thing is, one thing is this ivory power, ivory power strider weapon, a uh, pretty obscure weapon because it's not super meta. But with these, it's a set of melee magic and ranged, uh, and they're each 20 proc or 20 true proc. Um, and what they do is they give elemental empowerment uh, of energy when they proc. So we'll see if this goes off during the Malgru fight or not, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm super I'm super interested to see if um if the Huntress gets like new info subs cuz we don't 
we don't have any temp guests. Well, that's not true. We have a limited number of temp guests that do anything abnormal. Um, so I think it would be sick to um, get some more, which would be, I'd really enjoy that. Like some more reason to get like actual temp guests rather than guests you just have in your inventory. There we go. So we got the 20 proc, Might of a Legendary Strider, empowers your energy damage. And we get, I think, four turns, and then it takes down one of uh, Elemental Empowerment. So it was just a 1.25x damage multiplier. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, it's nice. I think there's definitely nice energy 100 procs. I'm just using this to be different, to have a little bit of variety. Oh, it's an odd loading screen. Oh, hold on. My cat is trying to get in. I don't know if any of y'all could hear that, but um, she's a little hard of hearing, so I have to holler at her. And sometimes she doesn't like to sit next to me, but sometimes she does. She's fickle. Um, but this is it. Warlick takes the weapons back. And then, oh, we could have resummoned the Huntress. Um, could be actually a different Huntress guest. So yeah, let's, let's see if this uh, is the same Huntress or not. But yeah, we've got this energy guy. So this is a properly coded Malzar. Uh, up until a day ago, it had 600 strength. This one does not. Arpsomnia, and I'm gonna want this on energy. There we go. Uh, what element am I gonna fight with? Probably, let's do uh, water. No real reason. But this guy doesn't do anything too crazy. Just an energy guy. When he had 600 strength or something, he would hit pretty hard. Okay, so this is the same Huntress guest. Um, I the reason I checked is in the um, in the rain set quest, the the Halifax guest you get at the beginning of the quest is not the same as the Halifax guest you're able to take at the end of the quest, um, which I think is quite funny. But they're, they're two different guests, and the, the one at the end of the quest is like on none scaling and like does five damage a turn, so it's, it's in my mind it's quite humorous, but it doesn't seem to be an issue here. They checked for that. Awesome. But yeah, pretty, pretty chill fight. Um, nothing really threatening so far in the monster pool. I wonder if the behemoth does some more significant damage than it used to. I'd love to see that. Uh, I might actually do the quest again, depending on if the quest has a checkpoint. I plan to die to the boss um, to see if it has a checkpoint, so that might set me back about an hour, but or a half hour. How long have you been recording? Oh, only 18 minutes. Well, if I go faster and I don't talk all the time, it'll be even quicker. But but uh, while we kill this guy, I had a pretty chill day. I was able to see some of my some of my good friends. We played frisbee, frisbee in the park. Oh, are we gonna load? We are. Oh, so this guy has an interesting gold reward. Nothing too crazy. What was that thing? I've never heard of anything like it. Um, let's see. Are we going to have the same feel animation? We are. Makes perfect sense. No sense in redoing an animation that was great for its time and is now better than average <laughs> for Adventure Quest. But um, hey, it's what it is. But yeah, they get cooked by a feel. A feel blast with the void. The Huntress just face tanks it though, so good for her. Oh no, I'm too late. Um, so here we are. Battle, challenge, battle, flee. So the flee, the flee button being here implies that if you die to the boss, you come back to the screen. That's why there's a flee button. So let's do the normal battle. If feel 150, he's got regeneration, freedom, and boss boost. Okay. Let me just let's look at his resistances. Uh... 2.4k MP, okay, okay, pretty interesting. Let me, um, let me just think about what loadout I want to go. I think I'm going to go Wicked King Plate because he used to attack with both light and dark, but I'm, I'm going to assume his SP attack will be dark because we'll have to see. Oh, well, I want initiative. Um, well, let's just swing on. Oh, did I lose the Huntress? 
I can't even see her. Hold on. Well, whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. I'm not too concerned. Oh, why are there two afields? Oh, what's going on? Okay, SP attack is fire. Um, no damage cap, by the way. Well, that's just not the challenge version, so. Also, I, I seem to have lost the Huntress Guest when she got her ass beat in that cutscene. Don't know if that's intentional. I think it was. Oh, okay. So he still got the random void attack. Uh, and that looked like it hit pretty hard. Let's actually see if any of these are auto hit. Okay, so the first one was not just fire damage. The second one was not. It was magic void damage. And it's two hits. Oh, he pays MP for the void damage. Okay. Is he just going to spam that? Well, that's pretty dangerous if he does. But yeah, there's there's two Aphiles set up here. So that's definitely not... He is just going to spam the void attack. Okay. Interesting. So definitely motivated to, um, to damage his SP. But I don't have the power of the necro title, so we'll see. I think I'm just going to chug a potion. Not too bothered about it. And what I'm actually going to start doing is rotating through the elements. Um, just to see if any elements hit him with a strange effect. The old Aphiel had actually freeze immunity, uh, or at least so I'm told. I actually didn't check and freeze him myself, but now he's attacking with dark. Is he gonna keep attacking with dark? So this is his fire, SP attack is fire, right? So I should switch. Oh, I said I was gonna swap elements, but I immediately forgot. Uh, but he, apparently he used to have like an LE seek mechanic. I don't know, to be honest, that's true. Um, but, Try and damage him with every element. See what happens. Oh, also, I need a guess. Oh, your opponent cannot be dazed because he has freedom. Oh! When did he get the mana to do that? Did he have the mana the whole time? Okay, well. Easy face tank, by the way. Uh, true Nemesis Guardian. Let's put you on the poison. Healing mode. Just because. No real reason. Not like I got dropped to 40 HP or anything. Okay. Oh, he heals mana. He heals mana based off his damage dealt, I bet. Okay, you know what? Let's um use a dark misc and see if he heals less when he deals less damage. That's interesting. That's kind of fun. I like that. Yeah, let's see if he healed mana that turn. Oh no, you know what? He still heals mana. So it's not based on the damage dealt. Okay, well, good to know. Uh, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use, harm? Actually, I think he has harm and void res, but let's see. So let's see if this harm, um, harm pet does like very low damage. Yeah, okay, so he's got harm and void res still. And so he slowly regain, regains um, resources. Pretty interesting. Seems like a seems like a nice little boss. And here he's gonna have the fire attack. So I can switch my misc to um, protect against fire. I had this is a tokens misc. It's only like I think 600 tokens on Black Friday or something. You, you should buy like the level 60 version. I forget, but it's in my uh, Black Friday guide. So uh, he doesn't quite have enough mana, but he might heal it on his turn. I don't know. But it seems like you don't need a compression armor for this. Oh wait, I forgot I wasn't going to kill him. Hold on. Dismiss guest, and we'll use, uh, just drink a mana potion. And hope his void attack kills me. Yeah, we'll drink another mana potion, and let him kill me, and see if there's a checkpoint. So, base boss slowly heals MP passively, slowly heals HP passively. Attacks with dark normally, attacks with fire for his SP, and whenever he has mana, he will use a very strong void attack. I think that's quite exciting. Intellect, endurance, luck, pretty low resistances, and has low arm res and void res. So let's see the challenge battle coming next week. I see, I see. 
Um, well, actually, I'm going to accredit the AQ team. They often don't have enough time for releases, so I really think that um, delaying the release to make it right, instead of just rushing it out, I think that's great. Nice work. Nice work, squad. Um, we are going to use the water setup, except we're also going to use ice. And for guests, what burn dots do I have? I have, um... I think Ninja Lawyer is fast enough. I could do bleed or whatever. Oh, but it's harm, so... Um, yeah, I don't want this guy. I want... I want Maple Beaver. Why not? I don't really care. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I wanted to make it the, uh, the poison. Actually, it doesn't matter what I do because he's going to attack with Void for like four turns. So, um, this is one place where Mind Block would actually come in handy. I might try that out. I don't know if Mind Block is affected by boss boost, but I can check. Um... Training Toxin, that's the one I want. So now we inflict Water Poison. Well, unless he resists it. So I should actually put on my Luck Drive because that'll boost my chances by 5%. Um, it could be, it would be a fun challenge to try to outheal his his um, damage without like potions or healing spells, like only through draining stats or draining dots. But it, the current the current thing I, I think would be uh, the easiest for you to do it's probably just nuke the pants off him. Like, what I'll do is I'll use, um... I'll use Cataclysm, just cause. And that should make me do a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. So he's cooked. Um, not a particularly challenging back fight, boss fight. I don't know why it feels in the background here. Seems pretty odd. Uh, pretty odd decision. Um, but... Deal. I'm sure they'll fix that. And again, I want to say again, I'm bummed the challenge fight isn't out today, but I am really glad the AQ team is taking the time to actually give themselves time to make an interesting challenge fight, or a good challenge fight, or just a challenge fight at all. So I hope that they do this in the future and give themselves time they need for releases. It feels rage. Oh, okay. Manifest a phantom of a feel. Driven that with rage to assault your foe. You can burn foes or blind foes. Of course, we can't see the animation because uh, it's a button. It's got two options. It's slightly overcharged. It is overcharged, but it's M uh, Z token, so it's a tiny bit less SMP. Would be 915, but it's 899. Uh, interesting. So I would think that a dark burn spell would be new because we haven't had much dark burn support that I recall dark blind we have like three of those so that would be pretty good to, to compete with that for the weapons oh you know what did they just not update these weapons interest oh okay so we've got the old salvation weapons and the Supreme Salvation Weapons. You know what? That is super cool. That is wicked. Okay. Alright, alright. And they come in three elements. I think that's sick. Radium. So they LE seek and they deal extra damage. Um, Potentially dead content. But I'm going to see if I can learn a little bit about what the items do after some testing and reaching out to my homies who have already tested it. And I'll get back to you right after I pause and unpause. Okay, so I got some info on these weapons and the spell. Don't know if it's correct, but somebody somebody told me and I'm inclined to believe it. Um, so it feels rage should be a overcharged darkness spell, which deals plus 25% damage. But then if you pick the uh, blind you lose 30% of your damage and inflict 60% melee worth of blind. If you inflict the rage, you lose 60% uh, melee or 60% of your damage 
and then you um, inflict 120% melee versus, versus uh, of burn. And I think the burn will be nice, because I don't know of any dark burn spells that are good or that exist. Uh, there might be some. Might be forgetting. Um, but they also both have a minus 20 save versus dexterity, so pretty handy. And then for the salvation weapons, they all deal plus 10% damage against devour soccer creatures. And that's it. They have a 5% down trigger, but it's cancelled by the MC, so I'm told. Um, I am super interested that the Supreme Salvation Bow... Is it always dark? Yeah, seems to be. So we... A dark 100 proc. Um... I mean... May as well buy it. The bow is the only 100 proc. The scepter is a 0 proc, so... I'm not too interested in the other two weapons. I don't think there's a 20 proc or anything, so... I'm gonna just get this bow out for the art. Replace claw arm for a minute. Sorry, bestie. Put you back in there soon. Um, can we reopen the shop? Very nice, we can't. Hey, very nice. Good that they have that uh, feature there. Where can I find a Devourer Saga? Um, Devourer Minion. Let's just go back to the Devourer Saga, actually, and maybe, um, A network divided, maybe? Final battle? I don't know, is this a war? Oh, okay. Spoilers. Oh, right, he just killed me. Old death, too. Damn. Okay, this was definitely not the quickest way to find a minion of the Devourer. Um... Okay, we're... Okay. Long time, to, and it's the unbeatable, so let's see if I get my cheeks clapped here. Um, but, Supreme Salvation Bow. He does void, he inflicts a cold. Can't even see the cold. Maybe I resisted it. Ranger Scope should be good to hit him here. So it does do dark damage. Um, which makes sense because the LE seeks and he has all 45. And something inflicted a burn, but Neko inflicted a burn, okay. So this was not the right Devourer minion to fight because his resistances are balanced. I'm gonna find one that I can showcase and see if it LE seeks, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this random more Exodus attacks. I'm actually gonna take the Guardian Salvation Bow no drop weapon. Um, and again, I don't think it will be updated, but let's see if it triggers against this scrow. Okay, it doesn't seem to be lit up or anything. I also don't think this is a- oh, this guy is bugged scaling as well. Interesting. Well, actually, let's- let's not, um, let's at least attack first. Okay, so it does do dark damage, so. Not only seeking against this guy, which is weird, because I was allowed to take the temp weapons. Um, from the, from the quest, but I'll be right back and actually find a minion. Okay, I checked like three other quests and gave up, but then I thought to go to the Warp Force Wars, and now my bow has little runes on it. Also, I got another temp bow, but this seems to be, so the temp weapon seems to be Ellie Seeking, and maybe doing the right amount of damage, I don't know. Um, but let's check... Let's check now the Supreme Salvation Bow, so the new one. And, oh, it is Ellie Seeking, and it picks ice over water. Interesting. Um, but definitely doing a lot more damage than that No Drop one, so when I take it back, the No Drop one is probably uh, under level, maybe like level 100 or something. But yeah, no, we're kind of cooking them with this. Um, I like the animation. I like that the runes change color to the element that it is attacking with. I think that's cool. And I do really like the design of the weapons. I think the... I think they all look pretty cool, honestly. Um, I like the bow. I like the sword. I like the staff. Yeah, I can't. I can't choose actually which one I like the best. Um, cloak. I gotta see this guy. Oh, I love this guy. Let's see what the uh, this one should attack with water now. Yeah, there we go. And look, the runes are now like a bluer, a deeper blue than they were before. They were like icy blue before. Now they're deeper blue. That's cool. I mean, again, like. 
It's like, realistically, the Devourer Saga minions trigger is not actually going to be helpful in many situations. Um, but, you know, I mean, it fits with the theme of the quest. It fits with what the Salvation Weapons are for, so, like, lore-wise, it would be pretty weird for the Salvation Weapons to not trigger against the Devourer Saga. And then again, I mean, I'm not a big fan of, like, items reflecting lore, but, you know, it's what it is. It's fine. Um, also, this guy's kind of sick. What the hell? On some like Jedi Force on me. I just I just said that because he has like a he makes the sword like a lightsaber with the fire and everything. Not really like a lightsaber. It just lights it on fire. Honestly, that's dope as hell. Cloak shapeshift when? I'm kidding. Um. But yeah. So. All in all about the release, we'll have to wait to see if we can get some information more reliably on the spell, but. Um, pretty significant burn. I think the blind is dead on release, to be honest, because you have Dark Disorb Shroud, which pays more damage and also has minus 20 save, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so the blind might be dead on release, but if you want a dark burn, that's there. Uh, it should also be typeless, so it works for mages and rangers and warriors, or follows your weapon held or your main stat, but, um, but yeah, pretty cool release. I'm excited for the challenge battle, and again, I want to give credit to the team for being like, hey, we can't finish this on time, let's just push it to next week, is what it is. Better to not rush it, you know? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video, that coverage of the release. I'll, of course, be doing the challenge boss in the future, probably several times, and uh, quite exciting. Have a great day, spread some peace and love, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.